Okay, so I've stopped the program before it's finished because I've got to uh, solve a little mistake that I, uh, I made. We've uh, saved a crash, which is a good thing. Um, so I've saved a tool, I hope, anyway. Um, I'll just show you where we're at. So basically we've got the uh, engine plates now pretty much machined out. What I've got to do now is just drill a couple of holes in each side for the locating pins. Now, if I'd done this as it currently is, I would have broke the tool there and I broke the tool there because it would have hit this the um, the screw the the cap heads there. So I'm just going to take those out now, undo them, and one more as well. I'm going to undo on the other side. Da -da -da -da. Nope, five mil. because I'm drilling beside that and knowing my look it'll all go wrong anyway I've got the little three and a half mil drill in so I'll put the shuttle back now uh, fingers crossed if you can see yeah dead difficult for you to see because it you get all residue on the screen, on the on the safety screen. I'll have to get some sort of camera mount to go on the inside of the machine and get a cheaper camera to put it on the inside, I think. Uh, right, I'm going to press go. Wish you luck. So I've drilled that with a 3.5mm drill because that's what's in there. So we're going to change it to a 4 mil end mill and I've used the same drill but some pieces on it so we'll see if that works So here we go, as you can see, we've got the internals of the engine casings. So we'll take these out now, unscrew it from the We'll still screw it from the fixture tool, fixture tool, but that fixture tool because I can put the other parts in now and let them start machining. Or do I check it first and make sure I haven't completely cocked up? Yeah, I think we'll check it first. This is the exciting bit. Will the insides, will the crankshaft and the bearings fit? inside what we've made. I have no idea. It looked like it did on the computer. Will the bearings be tight enough? Can the bearings go in? Okay, so There we are, we want to. Right, we'll move you over to the table. Right then, well we've got it all machined. Um, just a quick note, note, all our videos are sponsored by Lincoln Bikes Limited. Lincoln Bikes Limited is myself and my wife's business. We operate a motorbike dealership 
a multi-franchise motorbike dealership, and we're also, well, the majority of the business, our main business is motorcycle clothing. So we're a motorcycle clothing store that now also sells motorbikes. This is the reason I'm able to do these videos, um, because it's the only way I can get it past my wife to be able to look around like this. Um, but anyway, um, let's have a look what we've got. Um, we'll move you down to the table so you can see the table fully. Um, so we've machined the two um, halves. We've got there. Um, so let's have a go together to see if they fit. The first thing we're going to do is put the locating pins. And I already know these are too big to go in there. But I'm not going to make them any, I'm not going to use those. I'm going to buy some, I'll make some little pins to go in here, some 4mm pins to go in because I don't want to um, reduce the, the wall thickness of any more of these areas. I don't want to have it leaking or anything. So we'll forget about those for now. That's not important. We don't need them. Um, so let's put some bearings on the little crankshaft. Let's put... Into the housing. Possibly want to take off a fraction, make it a fraction tighter. But it just slides on. There's no play in it at all. And the bearings in the housing, so that's okay. Um, and then we're going to have the bolts going through. So that's it there. We have the two little caps on, so I'm going to use these to effectively join keyways and I've got the keyways I'm not going to pop them out, those on yet. I'm going to use those to connect multiple little cylinder blocks like this together which will go like that together and then we'll basically index one each one around a third giving us three bangs per revolution. And I'll put that on the other end because that's where it will go. So we've got this is where the cylinder is going to fit on top of here this is where the um, reed valve in intakes are going to be. The intake wise is going to be, um, we've got to basically, so the reed valve, we've got to drill the holes on the top there. So I'm going to have to put them back in the machine that way around and drill down into there. And I've got to put it back in the machine that way. And I've got to just take these out a little bit more here. Actually, it's not too bad even a step like that. But I've got a ball end cutter that can really smooth that out and sculpture that. Um, but there we have. Our little crankcases. And let's just hope we don't fall apart like that. <laughs> so I've got the other two blanks to put in the machine. We'll get that machine this week, so we'll have two motors and then we'll work out exact spacings and adapter plates to go between the two.